Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. You're listening to the man who has received so much recognition for his work on behalf of small business that he had to get a bigger mantle for his awards and a wider door for his head. You have reached the transmitting signal for the big giant head. All big giant circuits are busy right now. Please stay on the line. Mr. Humble, Jim Blassingame. Welcome back. 34 after the hour. Mr. Humble, at your service. Thanks for being part of my day. Always a pleasure, especially when we get a chance to reintroduce you to our good friend Rob Levin. Rob is a longtime member of our Brain Trust, going back more than seven years now as a member of our Brain Trust. And uh, he's the publisher of the New York Enterprise Report. And uh, that's a a print publication, a business print publication. And he's duking it out out there in the... In the marketplace, just like us other uh, sole sole operators of uh, of, of uh, publishing industry uh, in, the, in the publishing industry, and makes makes me very proud of him. He's got a big event coming up real real soon. In fact, tomorrow. And I've asked him to join us. Tell us a little bit about that. Rob Levin, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Jim. Love being here. I can't believe it's been seven years. Can, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? It does. It does. <laughs> and I know I, it's been. I, you know. I know we're having we, we keep having fun, um, you know. So seven seven in my nine years of being an entrepreneur, I do think I'm getting a little shorter though. <laughs> exactly. No, I, I tell people all the time. I was a lot taller when I when I started out. Hey, uh, Rob, you've got big doings coming up. Uh, a couple of years ago, three maybe, I was at your at, at your big uh, uh, New York Enterprise uh, uh, Business Awards event. Uh, uh, and and just had a great time. There were 400 people packed in there, and just I mean, it's the most one of the most energetic, exciting things I've done in a long time. You got another one coming up real soon. I really want to congratulate you on how you've been doing this every year and pulling this off, and 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 really raising the level of consciousness of folks about about what what small business owners are doing out there. Thanks. I mean, we're we're particularly excited this year. We had a record number of applications. So just for for those people that aren't familiar with it. It's uh, it's really it's become not only the the event of the year for the New York business community, but it's it's also we, we recognize two different groups of people. We recognize small businesses that's 500 or fewer employees, uh, some as little as a you know as a handful, some that with a few hundred um, that they have applied for awards in different categories like uh, best practices in sales and marketing or not for profit of the year. And we announced the winners tomorrow night, and that's obviously that's very exciting. And you know, you remember what the energy in the room. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We we also um, are. I'm really pleased about this. We are giving our founders award. It used to be called the Advocate Award, and you know that, Jim, because you uh, you received one from us. Very proud uh, of that. To, to, to Steve Mariotti from NIFTY, a, na- a network for teaching entrepreneurship. And um, I believe you know Steve. I do. An amazing guy, and I, I really think that. That Nifty is so important today, not only in the United States but around the world. And what they do is they help teach entrepreneurship to kids. And I think it's high school, maybe it goes a little yep. younger. Yep. Uh, and I think that is, I think it's so important. I really think that entrepreneurship is going to be one of the keys to success. And he for was doing this when it wasn't. He was doing this when it wasn't cool. To That's right. Before even small you, businesses. You were tell cool, him I said that yeah. because he, we've had I, Steve I, on the show before. I'm, what the, well, the work he's doing is so important, not only to the individuals uh, that he that he serves, the young people he serves, and that, that who who go through the program, but this is good for for the United States and therefore the world. The work he's doing is very building blocks, like isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, it's it's so important, and and I really hope more people get on the bandwagon with Nifty and organizations like Nifty. Um, I'll tell you a quick funny story. I, my son has been watching these TED Talks, right, mm-hmm. uh, on the iPad before he goes to bed, and uh, <laughs> he picked one out. Uh, he picked one out. I looked, everybody should look this up and watch this, um, particularly if you have kids. Cameron Harrell talking about uh, entrepreneurship and kids and how you can actually start at a very young age mm-hmm. to get kids to think entrepreneurial, even if they don't end up starting their own business. Having those entrepreneurial skills right. is something that will help anybody. They can become an entrepreneurial employee. That's right. That's right, and we could use some more of those. In fact, I could have used one last night uh, at New Jersey Transit getting right. home from the Monday Night Football game. So, uh, uh, anyway, you were telling me about the, the – uh, you, 
were you through with that story with, with Steve? Yeah, I, you know, again, okay. I just encourage people to check out Nifty uh, Network for Teaching Entrepreneurship. I'm he's really excited get you, to, to be getting the award. To give he's going to get award. your big award tomorrow night. And then who else are you giving? You, I mean, not who else, but what are the other awards you're going to be giving tomorrow night? So the other awards, you know, as I, as I mentioned a little bit, um, best practice awards, best practice in sales, marketing, leadership, use of technology. Mm-hmm. So really what we want to do is we want to, feed, we want to highlight and recognize those companies that have developed just a better way to do things. It's not and, about and, the product. And where can, they, where, can we find, they do it. where can folks find out more about tomorrow night's event? Well, the, the event, I'm, I'm really pleased to say it sold out a week ago. Congratulations. Um, but the, the winners will be announced uh, probably Thursday morning on our website. Right, which and then is? The, uh, nyreport.com and then, and then our November print issue, which will also be on the web as well. Right, we'll so, more detail. So check that out, folks, uh, coming up uh, tomorrow night for them. We're going to be right back, and we're going to pick the brain of our good friend Rob Levin a little bit more after these messages. 20 tales. Stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.